So guys, welcome back to a new episode of the Southampton career mode. We are gonna start off as usual with some training. It's Muriel, Calgren, Augustinson, Ward Prowse and Seeger. Let's see if we can get some growth. And I looked at the calendar for today's games. We have two pretty good teams. We have Arsenal at home for the first time this uh, this season and then we have the other team what's it called then we have uh, West Ham United and as I saw right now if you can see in the calendar here after these two games the transfer window will open and we will start January with a cup game and I hope you guys will comment down below what place I would get. I will be trying to sign some sort of a defender, maybe a new goalkeeper. I'm I'm really wanna get uh, Jack Butland, but I don't know how much he will cost or if I will have the money to pay his wagers. I have currently I have uh, where's my money? I have 21 million. And I need to sign uh, Gaston Ramirez again because his contract is running out. He's six six months left, and I want to keep him. So some of the wagers is gonna go to a new contract contract from him. And I seen that I need a new I need a new center back because Kolker is used on loan. So I'm gonna need some new defenders. So if you have some new defenders, I wanna. Uh, that you think I would be interested in comment down below and let's jump into this game against Arsenal at home let's see if we can win so guys welcome to St. Mary Stadium Southampton and we are welcoming Arsenal to our wonderful pitch here and let's see if we can beat them we are starting Colgren in goal as always. Cedric, Colker, Font, Augustine, and Juan Jama, Ward Prowse, Tadic, Ramirez, Long, and Muriel. And let's see the Arsenal team. I think they have a really strong side. If they haven't sold anyone, checking goal, that's always good. Debushi, Gabriel, uh, Mertzaka, Gibbs, Arteta, Coquelin. Valcourt, Sanchez, Castle and Giroud. Ursel, Ursel starts on the bench. That's a pretty new one for me. I would like to start uh, uh, Ursel if I was uh, the Arsenal manager. Let's see. Oh, we can get it. Can we get it? Yeah. Shoot. A mighty save from Sheik already after three minutes. I didn't know one Jama was gonna get that ball. Oh, poor, poor throw. Let's see, and they're just gonna, yeah, they're just gonna pass it around. So nothing more to see here. Here's Sanchez. He has the speed, and he took Cedric out, but nothing more than that. They are gonna get a throw for it. Let's see if we can do something here. Muriel to Tadic find Shane Long Shane Long just run with it shoot Shane Long almost that's a great ball can you get a shot off oh that's a mighty save on Colgren let's see if they can do something with this corner here Casola and nothing. Let's throw it out quick. Get Ward Price to run that. Come on. Or Ward, Ward Price, Ward Pros. Find Moriel on the side. Turn in. Shoot. Rebound. And we have a corner. Head that. And it's a goal! It's a goal! It's Font! His first for the season! The centre-back Font! It's a lovely header 
and Czech has no chance saving that. We're one 0 up at home against Arsenal. Let's beat them. Come on, we need a win. Here we Tadic to Ramirez. Oh, offside. Of course he was offside. I thought, why isn't the ref blowing there? He's so much offside, it's not even funny. And I don't know why I got uh, excited there. Uh, Sanchez got a yellow card, so maybe they will switch him soon. So he won't get a red card. And there blows the ref for half time. We're leading, leading, we're winning. <laughs> We're winning 1-0, Font with a goal, Jose Font. I'm really happy he got a goal, he's been a solid uh, centre-back for us. And he's getting kind of old, so we need to replace him soon, but as for now, he makes a really good job. And you see we got a lot of chances that uh, half, let's see how many chances we had, we had 5 shots, Five on target, they have one shot, one on target, but they are winning possession by a lot. I'm gonna take out one Yama because I don't wanna get a red card on, on him. I'm gonna take on Reed instead because Reed, he was kind of good to a game he played. And as a CDM, I want a, a kind of a, a tall player and my other CDM is really short, so we won't be playing that much. Maybe if someone will get uh, injured, and maybe he will play. But let's see if we can win this second half. Goal! Oh, it's wet! It went in! Oh, what a goal! Is it Shane Long? No, that's not Shane Long, is it? No, yeah, it is. Or, or is it Cedric? Is that Cedric? Or was it Muriel? What? What? Who was it? It was Muriel. It didn't look at all like Muriel. But we got a goal, <laughs> two nil up. I had no clue who that was. But we got a goal. I thought I saw like a, like a short mohawk or almost. And then I thought, like, that's not Shane Long, and it's not Muriel as well, because he was kind of pale. So it would have been Cedric, but no, it's Muriel. Oh my god. It hit the bar, come on. Ramirez. Almost, we get a corner. Colker had that. I want to beat these guys, come on. I want to destroy Arsenal, <laughs> come on. Arsenal player, Arsenal's uh, players are getting kind of stressed when I'm high up. It's, it's, it's like them, oh, what am I gonna do? It's like that. Look, I can just, oh shit. Arteta. Nothing to see here. Word pros to Augustine's son, to Shane Long, you can do this. Shane Long. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty, who should I give it to? And it's a red card as well. Per Merita Sacker, yeah, red card. He can't keep up, so he, ha he had to do like that. So, Muriel is gonna take the penalty. Is it enough power? Yeah, it is. 3-0. The second of the game, Luis Muriel. And what a signing he has been. <laughs> Shane Long has actually played good as well in the last few games. Oh, can we, can we get another one here? Come on, 4-0. Ramirez. Oh, he's so tired. <gasps> oh! Oh, almost. Muriel, come here, Muriel. Get a third one. No. Oh, that's a that's a card. That's almost a red card. Come on, what? No card. Yeah, it's a card. 
yellow card to Cedric. Yeah, I thought it was Cedric. He had a mohawk there. Or kind of a mohawk. And he was the one punching in the the second goal. Oh 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 well. We get a 3-0 three nil victory against Arsenal at home with Font as the one nil second second goal Muriel and third goal Muriel on a penalty. Let's let's uh, check the statistics and then move on to the table and the next game against West Ham. Muriel gets man of the match. He has two goals, one assist for Tadic and World Pros, and a goal for Fon, the captain right now. We are playing really good as well right now. We have we haven't lost a game in like three, four episodes, I think. And we are currently on fifth place. Only two points behind Arsenal. And five points up for the first place. We are climbing really fast right now. Let's see if we can win the next game. I will see you guys in or on the pitch. So guys, as the last game of the episode, we are on boiling ground. West Ham United home arena let's see if we can win this I really hope we can win this we have a weaker team West Ham is currently on ninth place only two points behind us so if we drop points here we can drop drop some places in the table and as of now I'm I had to rest a lot of players Davies is plays Davies plays again. Uh, Seeger plays. And also Oh shit. How we fucked up already. Great tackle. What? Alright. So they get a kind of a dangerous free kick here in this area. Let's see if they can score from here. Jelavik with a free kick. Oh, that's almost a goal. Carl Green made a big save there. Corner here, though. Can he do something? No. Seeger. Davies run with it. Seeger. Oh, he's too slow. Do something here. Fawn. You can't blow the whistle there, ref. Come on. Well, we're nil-nil after one half away from West Ham. That's pretty good, but we can do better. And let's jump right into the second half. Let's go. Oh, we steal that. Come on, Cedric, run, run with it. To Davies. Is that offside? No, Seeger's not offside. Over to the other side, and it's a go. It's a goal. It's a sweaty goal, but it's a goal. Pele gets the goal. Lovely passing. I thought Seagerwood was gonna be offside there. Pass. Finds over to Pele. Pele puts it in an empty net. It's a sweaty goal. Yeah, I can take that, but I need a win, so I just had to. And it's Pele's last game for the club. I'm gonna sell him in the transfer window. Because he's not playing at all for me. And he's getting old. So why not? There's Heskid. Heskid. Here comes West Ham. Jelavik with the ball. He cuts inside. Oh shit. And he's a mighty save from Kalgren again. He's making really good saves this game. Noble coming on for Antonio this late in the game. I don't I don't know why. They should really have started with Noble instead of Antonio. Oh that's a bad pass. Lancini with the ball, he loses it. Rodriguez. Heskid. Davies run. No. 
Oh, that's a, that's a card. Maybe even a red. Oh, wait, it's used a yellow. It's a yellow card for Steve da or for Davis there. Let's see if you can do something here with a free kick. No, and the referee is gonna blow any minute now. It's gonna blow now, and that's the game and the and the last game for the episode. We won 1-0 after the sweaty goal from Pele. Pele scored in his last game for the club. He's not gonna play anymore. I'm gonna sell him probably. So we got an assist receiver and a goal for Pele. Uh, we had six shots, four on target, 53 possession. They had three shots, three on target. And let's look at the table and then end the episode. Let's see here. We have Barnett in the round three of the Emirates Cup last night. Last night, last game. Let's see. Or next game, I mean. Let's see the table. Not that table. Oh, what? Now, now I have no clue what I'm doing. Let's see how we are standing. We are currently on fifth place, 32 points. We are almost. We can almost barely touch the the first place. We are only three points behind with 25 goals. And the Manchester City has 32 goals. We have conceded 16 goals. The Arsenal <laughs> has conceded 20 goals. 28 goals by Bournemouth. We we can do this. We can finish top five. That's the goal so far. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. And as you can see, we have the transfer window open by the next episode. And I'm thinking of simulating this game so we can get some new players for the Norway game. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy my Southampton career mode and let's let's see each other in the next episode I think. I think I'm gonna end here. Yeah I'm gonna end here so be sure to leave a like comment especially comment on what players I would get. Let's see here first I have Font, he's getting old, so I might be getting a new. I want a new goalkeeper. Colgren is good, but he can't play all the time. I want like Jack Pot Butland or someone. Cedric, we need a sub for Cedric, he can't play all the time. Colker is gonna leave after season, I think, because he's on loan. So we need a new mid or maybe a center back. So yeah, that's what you have to work on. I'm gonna work on it as well. So I will see you guys in the next episode.